In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create the Torten College effect in After Effects. And this effect is inspired by Pink Panther's new album release and the music videos. She's been using this style and aesthetic recently, so I thought I had to show you guys how to make it. And if you guys don't know about my all-in-one bundle, where I recently included a full course into, it includes all of the editing packs on my whole website, and now a course as well showing you guys how to use the editing packs included. So to check this out, there's going to be a link at the top of the description. Other than that, let's get right into the tutorial here. So here I'm in After Effects, I've added the footage, I'm going to be showcasing this effect on here. And I'm using FHD with 24fps if you guys want to use the same. So what you're going to be starting off with is basically rotor brushing out your clip here. In this case, I've already been rotor brushing out Pink Pandras here. And you guys probably know how to rotor brush, but if you guys don't know, it's going to be a link to a tutorial down below. Of the rotor brush, you will be getting this cutout version here. And now when we have the rotor brush, we're going to be adding in the tartan textures here. And to find these textures, just simply just search up tartan texture on Pinterest and then download some. I downloaded five different Torten textures I'm going to be importing into After Effects right now. So now when you got your Torten textures here, we're going to be selecting the uh, textures. Right click, pre-compose, then name it Torten Background. Press OK. Open it up. And here we just adjust the textures. We can start off with the first one. Rotate it 90 degrees. And then increase the scale. So basically make your textures full screen. So now they're going to look something like this here. Full screen. And now we can just go one frame, cut the first one, delete the rest, second one, cut it, make it one frame, and the same with the third one, just like that. And now I have the five uh, torten textures, it's going to look something like this now, very fast. Now you just uh, select all of them, press Ctrl D to duplicate, just like that, do it one more time. You can drag this up so you can easily see the textures, Ctrl D again, stuff like that, and then one more time we can do. So now it's around one second, a little bit more than a second here. And after that, we can pre-compose these again. Name it one sec torten, just like that. And then press Ctrl D, duplicate this. And then Ctrl D to duplicate these, just like that, just to make it loop. So now we have a full torten background here. It's going to be giving us this kind of look here. This is very fast now, obviously, but now if we go back to the torten college effect here, the original position here. We can drag this under the rotor brush here, which looks very, very fast, but now uh, it looks a little bit more like the uh, aesthetic we're trying to achieve at least. So what we're going to be doing here is basically make an animation uh, so this torten background slides in uh, from the side and then starts to play in the background uh, behind Pink Panthers here. So how we can do that is basically sort of by dragging this to the side, like this here, all the way till it disappears. Something like that. Then keyframe the position. I'm gonna make the animation around a half second long, something like that. And then go back to the original position, select the keyframes, then easy ease them, then open up your uh, speed graph here. We can make a graph that looks something like this here. So as you guys can see, this is a little bit too fast. So I'm going to be stretching out this uh, animation to maybe at three seconds. Something like that looks good. Super smooth and clean here. And now as you guys know, with this whole uh, aesthetic here, it's very laggy. So how to fix that uh, for the tartan background here, because it's obviously too fast right now. So how to fix that is basically by adding post rise time to it. And here uh, I'm going to be setting the FPS here to 6, 7, I would say 7 honestly. Yeah, 7 looks the best, not gonna lie. So I would say 6 to 8 frames is the sweet spot, uh, in my opinion. And we can also change the color here of the Torten textures here, because now they are like, you know, very colorful, different colors. Uh, in, yeah, Pink Panther's music videos, she's using this kind of red style to them. Uh, so how to fix that is basically by adding four color gradient and we can select a red color here and then press color and then we can change the blending mode here to soft light and it will be getting this kind of red look here and some of the textures look very very strong in the red here like this one so I'm gonna drag down the opacity a little bit 65 so we get this kind of look here. And you guys can also add the motion blur effect here. So you guys can 
get a little bit blur on the slide in here and now we're going to be cutting the rotor brush clip here so press ctrl shift d to cut it then go a little bit further in cut it again and then a little bit further in again cut it again here we're going to be adding some effects to pink panthers here so first of all we want her to start lagging as well so we're going to start with adding post rise time to this uh, first little clip here i'm going to set the frame rate to eight here it's going to be sliding in and then boom she's going to start lag like that so you can actually copy this posterized time to all of the other clips here so for the first clip here we basically want to use like a normal pink pantry here i don't want to use i don't want to do anything special here but for the second one we're going to be adding fill here and i'm going to set the color to white here she's going to be getting this white fill which i've seen on her music videos she has this kind of white fill to the rotor brush or cutouts so something like that and then the last one here just to add some other you know half tone comic book kind of look here uh, i thought that we could add a half tone effect to this so just add half tone and you'll be getting this kind of look here and then increase the dots frequency you can set to 110 so now when we play this it's going to look something like this here very very cool tartan college effect here looks super super cool in my opinion absolutely incredible effect there not gonna lie absolutely incredible looks super super cool now to elevate this even more i'm going to be using my frutiger metro effects pack which includes some crazy compression presets in there so how to use them is basically to make a adjustment layer by pressing ctrl alt y go to animation presets user presets frutiger metro effects and here we could use the ultra frutiger color just drag and drop and it's going to look something like this. Looks absolutely incredible, this effect here. It just emphasizes and amplifies the whole YTK aesthetic even more here. <laughs> it looks super, super good. Now make a new adjustment layer again. We could be adding another effect from the pack. We could use the Frutiger Blue. And this is going to be adding this super strong Frutiger Metro look to it. It looks absolutely incredible. Uh, it's a little bit too dark in the beginning, so you can make a new adjustment layer. Drag it under the effect and then just cut it whenever you don't need the uh, brightness add the curves here boom just increase the brightness and now it's going to be looking something like this looks actually insanely good like holy shit this looks good <laughs> oh my god like super strong fruiting metro look as you guys can see here with the tartans in the background absolutely incredible super, super lovely effect here add one more preset here chromatic fruitiger drag and drop and it's going to be adding this colorful Fruity Metro look to this looks super super cool and yeah I mean <laughs> can't even get better than this not gonna lie here it looks absolutely crazy and super super good this so to check out the Fruity Metro FX pack which is a part of my all-in-one bundle it's going to be linked down below and the all-in-one bundle I was talking about in the beginning is also going to be linked down below as well with the whole new course included so be sure to check it out other than that I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and like this crazy pink pantress tartan college effect uh, looked super super cool in my opinion and uh, yeah i will see you guys soon take care and have a nice day